Let's talk Debo Samuel. He had about 40 yards receiving, about 40 yards rushing, and about 40 yards returning. By far the best player on the team. You got it. He should be the kick returner, the punt returner, the the starting the starting running back, not the not the backup running back, the number one wide receiver, and he should have like probably two throws a game. Now he did get hurt a little bit. He got hurt twice in this game, but he re- returned both times. After the game, he seemed totally fine. He spoke at this post game press conference, which usually means he's not injured. He walked away, didn't limp, looked good. The Niners really could win the Super Bowl just because they have him. It seems to me that usually you think. You got to have the right quarterback to win the Super Bowl. But the Packers had the best quarterback in the league, and they couldn't win a single playoff game. Maybe maybe running the ball is more important. Maybe teams that run the ball and, and can't be stopped on the ground actually have the biggest advantage. I think the Niners have that advantage right now. As long as Debo's healthy, they should be fine. It looks like he's okay. But I just want to remind you, the Niners had no offense in this game. The first field goal was a result of a 45-yard kick return that set the Niners up near midfield. The second field goal was a result of Debo Samuel running for nine yards on third and seven. So you could give Jimmy Garoppolo credit for this or that, but Debo Samuel, once again, totally overcame Jimmy. You could win with Debo Samuel with any quarterback because all you got to do is hand him the ball. The best non-quarterback in the league, maybe the best player in the league, regardless of, of position. I thought he was more impactful than Aaron Rodgers in this game. He was more unstoppable than Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is okay in this game. Debo Samuel was unstoppable. And he only averaged 3.8 yards per carry. Couldn't get the big play, but on third and seven, you knew it was undeniable. He's the biggest advantage in the league, and the Niners just have to keep giving it. They have to get out of his way. That's Kyle Shanahan's job this year. Get out of Debo's way. Last week against Dallas, Debo said, give me the ball. Kyle's job is to say, sure, yes, sir, yes, sir. Today, he had 13 touches. Next week, it should be 14. They can't lose. While De- the crazy thing was that fourth and one, Debo wasn't on the field when they didn't when they didn't convert it. Niner fans almost lost their mind. I think Kyle figured it out. He was going to call a pass in that final play, and he's like, you know what? Maybe I'll just give it to Debo. That was smart. 